Myself, Dr. Daksh Mahajan. I am the consultant urologist, andrologist, and kidney transplant surgeon associated with Amandi Group of Hospitals. Today, I will be discussing a bit about a very common men health problem. A lot of patients come to me in my clinical practice and ask whether is there any cure or is there any treatment for erectile dysfunction? I would say yes, we would have to work you out on that. Erectile dysfunction is a very vast topic. It has many factors and co-factors associated with it. I come across various men of uh, age groups ranging from early 20s and uh, they go up to 60s, 70s and even the gentlemen in the age group of 80 years also come to me for their erectile health and uh, they just uh, get uh, consultation on their erectile dysfunction. So I would say that erectile dysfunction is fairly common uh, disorder. Firstly, I would say it has nothing to do with the aging process. There's a misconception that erectile dysfunction is a part and parcel of uh, aging process. So I would say that is not totally true. Even in the older age groups, if you have erectile dysfunction, you should get yourself worked up and check for the treatment protocol. Another thing I would like to mention here is that the patients who come up to me, they are fairly at a late stage of their treatments because they go to the unprofessional uh, people who just say that they are the masters of their uh, treatment in erectile issues uh, but they do nothing they just uh, give a pill burden to the people and they say to take that pills for about uh, six months to more than 12 months even and the patients are not relieved of the symptoms apart from that they take up the side effects of various pills they get their gastric problems started they get their kidney functions worsened they get their liver functions worsened so the patients come to me with the several different problems apart from the primary problem there. So I would like to advise you that if you are suffering from something like erectile dysfunction, you should consult a urologist and then get yourself worked up for the same. Now coming to the causes of the erectile dysfunction in the younger age group, like I would say less than 40 years of age, primary problem is the psychological things. It's not a, a more of an organic disease that is causing the erectile dysfunction. Uh, the patients are fairly healthy, they have the normal blood work, they are not suffering from any comorbidities, no any ailments, and yet they have erectile dysfunction. So I would say that that is more of a psychological problem. They just need a counseling session. And uh, why is that? It is because of various factors. We would number it out. We could say that it's because of the strained interpersonal relations. Uh, it may be due to work-life imbalance. It may be due to unrealistic expectations from their erection. And nowadays, I've also seen patients uh, who have the altered sexual preferences. So in that patients, uh, the erectile dysfunction is not the, due to any organic disease or any deficiency in their body, but it's due to their mindset. So in that case, uh, even a psychological session would help them and they would get rid of all the problems. Apart from that, whenever a patient comes to me, we get the organic workup also done. We get the hormonal levels. We get their blood work for the comorbidities. The patients who are especially getting treated for diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems, prostate related disorders, they have the erectile dysfunction going on. So they need to get some medi medications added along with the uh, counseling session. Uh, these are fairly simple medications which can be taken uh, even daily in some enthusiastic meals or uh, may be taken as on when required basis. So 80% of the patients which approach for the erectile dysfunction, they get treated with the either a simple uh, counseling session or a combination of counseling as well as medications. Remaining 20% are, as we say, that these are the refractory erectile dysfunction patients. They don't respond to the traditional methods and for them we have some advanced uh, uh, treatment protocols uh, uh, with us. So in that, the first uh, protocol is the intercavernal nodal injections in which we give a small injection to the patient which he takes uh, before they act and get the uh, instant erectile response. So another around 10 to 12% of the patients are taken care by intercarbonosal injections. And the remaining few small population of the patients which are refractory to all modes of treatment, uh, they are then advised surgery. In that we advise them to get uh, penile implants done uh, penile prosthesis as we say and then that will take care of their erectile dysfunction. So coming back to the problem uh, whether there is a cure for erectile dysfunction, yes definitely there is a cure for erectile dysfunction. You have to get yourself worked up and uh, you have to reach the root cause of the problem whether it's more of a psychological, whether that is organic and then can get treated accordingly. So if you want to consult me, I am available at Amandeep Medicity on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from 11am to 2pm.